I'm Thomas Lemon, better known as Tom, and president of the Mid-America Union. I find as I travel around our 10 state region that there is a lot of lack of understanding of how the church is really organized. The bedrock of the church is the local church, the church of which you are a member. Churches in your area have banded together to form a conference. Conferences get together to form a union, and the unions are the building blocks of the general conference in its various divisions. The Mid-America Union consists of six conferences spread over nine whole states and part of a tenth. We have 66,000 members and we are growing. We wish we were growing faster. We wish we were growing deeper, but both things are happening. My role is to coordinate all of the activities here in the Mid-America Union office. And that office is set up to provide consultative services to our conferences, leadership resources to our departments, and inspiration to our members. The website, the Outlook magazine, and other forms of communication are there to keep you informed and to keep us informed as you give feedback to us. Another area of responsibility that we have is to carry the thinking, the needs, the wishes, the desires of the Mid-America Union constituents to the General Conference. So I spend a lot of time in committees at the General Conference and various institutions that it operates around the nation. One of our big roles is to encourage our local people, our conferences, always in the endeavor of evangelism. We are here to carry the Gospel Commission to our territory. And frankly, we get together and we think of ourselves as fairly significant and fairly large, but when you put us against those who don't yet know what it means to hope for Jesus with anticipation and joy, we have a lot to do and a lot of territory to cover. I want you to be a part of that. So as you look at the resources provided in this series of videos, write down some phone numbers, send us an email, Contact our people because we are here as servants of Jesus Christ to serve you and his cause.